Hey there, Pisces! Welcome to your January 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, what we do usually anyway, is that we that we separate the the topics or the reading, uh, the, the reading by topics so we're changing uh, things into sections, um, which is easier than to actually read it and for you to get the, the messages. And also it will give you a, a few more messages. So what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of January 2023 for the sign of the dreamer, Pisces, um, before we then go into your emotional core. The emotional core is um, if there's love coming in, um, Maybe there's trauma that can go, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities. And opportunities, for the most part, will be about what sustains you financially. At the same time, money is not a spiritual currency. So it will also be about how you emotionally and spiritually fit in to these scenarios that you find yourself in or want to find yourself in, right? So we do all this. <clears throat> and then there's another change this month, Pisces. <laughs> and I don't know yet if this is going to be there forever. If it is, in the, should, I, should this continue that way, then I will just do the readings without all the information you are getting now. Because this month I'm not using my cards. This month I am using um, galaxy balls. Galaxy balls are literally crystal balls, but they have resin in it. And that resin allows me, by tilting it, to see galaxies, which is um, handy when you do astrology, <laughs> which is why you're obviously here. <clears throat> and um, it allows me to, to deeper connect to the sign I'm reading. And um, I have two uh, galaxy balls here today, which is why I have to explain this to you. Had I only had one, I would just do a reading. <clears throat> but these two are very different from one another, and therefore how the messages should be understood is different. So let me just explain this to you. Won't, it won't take a minute. I have two galaxy balls that I could be using, <coughs> and I don't know <coughs> excuse me, which one I'm actually going to use. So here's the first one I got. This is my dolphin galaxy ball and this one is about perception this is how do you see the world and how does the world see you in other words where am i in the scheme of things should i be using this guy for the reading you should look at the messages from where am i right now how does this all relate to my life at this very moment that's this guy it's about perception. The other galaxy ball that I'm having, that I could be using, and sometimes the reason why I mention all of them is because sometimes the guides say, oh, for this section, use this one. And then you would realize that I'm using a different galaxy ball. Therefore, I have to explain to you why this is an opportunity or, or a possibility and what it means. In any case, the second one that I have is the dragon galaxy ball. Hey, okay. awesome. The dragon is associated with the element of water. The element of water is purity and renewal. The dragon is also associated with the color gold, which is a conduit. Therefore, um, should I be using this one? It will, will, it, will, will, it, will be even, um, it will even be a bit deeper. The other thing that the dragon is known for is its association to the south node and the north node. So the south node and the north nodes are different because the north node is sort of why you're here. Um, and then the south node is about your karma. <clears throat> and if the south node and the north node would ever meet, it would take them 26,000 years to get to one another. So shamanically speaking, the belief is that we have one soul with changing bodies. If that makes sense? And for 26,000 years, we will be on this very planet to learn one thing, one thing only, detachment. So all the lifetimes that we have are about learning to experience everything and anything there is and learn to let stuff go too. Mm, not quite sure where I'm going with this. I just wanted to let you know what this is all about. Ultimately, should it be the dragon 
that I will be using. The messages should be understood from a point of view of thinking, how does this relate to how I'm feeling? This is about going within. Should I be using this guy? Anything you hear me say, anything you hear me translate, if that makes sense, from the guides, is about how does this relate to my inner feelings? How do I, how, how do, does this sit right with me? Right? <clears throat> okay, you're ready? Let's just see what I'm drawn to <clears throat> and then just take it from there. Right, I'm drawn to the dolphins. Mm, maybe a bit more fitting, <laughs> in the sense that obviously these are animals in water and Pisces by default, um, you know, we are governed by Neptune, the gods of the sea. So, so the energy of the dolphins is a bit closer to home, right? But remember, see it from a point of view, where am I right now? How does this relate to what I'm doing at this point in time? In any case... With all that done, <laughs> for all those long videos, um, now we're looking at the overall energy for the months of January 2023 for the sign of Pisces. You are watching Thomas's Tower reading. This is your overall energy for January 2023. You are in total balance, Pisces. No matter how you feel about things, you are in total balance. Your job, therefore, is... I should say our job because I'm Pisces too, is to stay in balance. If life is difficult, remember that life is cyclical. Therefore, nothing ever stays the same. It cannot always, and it will not, stay difficult all the time. So don't allow yourself to feel super stressed by things you cannot really control. Right? You are in total balance in January 2023. That's bloody awesome. Anyway, <clears throat> let's look at the emotional core. Let's just see what's what's happening there <coughs> for us, Pisceans. Excuse me. You have, we have. <laughs> Again, this is all about balance apparently for us Pisceans in January. Um, the this is not about trauma. So this, this month, January 2023, Pisceans, it is not the month for you to go deep into, into uh, retrospective um, thinking. I'm not knocking if you go on a retreat, but the energy in January is more about staying in the now, right? Dealing with the now playfully. It is a Pisces trait to be playful. <coughs> and... Whatever happens with regard to love will be manifested easier or work better when everything is done in a light-hearted way. So even underhanded uh, um, criticism, <laughs> if you must uh, uh, be critical, um, ought to be done playful. So if you are in a relationship, anything that needs to change or ought to change or, or, or that you want to discuss, discuss it without having to say, I want us to sit down, blah, 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 blah. right? This has to be playful. The more playful you are, it allows for more love to actually be in the moment. So that's what I'm getting. Should you not be in a relationship, is this is what, 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 what you're about to uh, manifest or what you're in the process of manifesting, um, telling yourself uh, um, what an idiot you are and telling yourself how you're obviously not a good partner doesn't work at all, does it? So the job that you have is to say like, yeah, it'll come, right? And we will all be very happy in that relationship. We will make it work. It's going to be awesome. The point is, in January 2023, and Pisceans, we're the sign of the dreamer, so we're not very good at that. Which, what, what that means is we, we, we have a strength to be in the now, but we also have a tendency not to stay in the now. Our brains can be all over the place <coughs> and we daydream. <laughs> so for Pisceans, your job is when it comes to love, manifesting love, looking at your love life, be in the now, but be in the now lightheartedly. So moving on to opportunities in the month of January <coughs> 2023 
For the sign of Pisces, you are watching Thomas' Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Opportunities in March are not plentiful, but the area you are working in is what will make it work. While diversifying is a good idea, what I'm getting for you is to have everything you can do and highlight this wherever you are. I'm not getting for Pisceans to go into five different directions to see if whatever it is you're doing would be, would be wanted elsewhere. Not this month. This month is about focus. This is also about understanding that you already have a massive toolbox. There's nothing here you need to do, Pisces, um, to impress or to sustain yourself. You know enough. But your job is to focus on what you already know and somehow focus it in on where you are working with this at this point in time. And that's all I got, my friends. Please like, subscribe and share. Apparently, a lot of people are watching these videos and, um, and um, a lot of people haven't, described, haven't subscribed yet, right? What's wrong with you? It's just a fucking button. Press it. <laughs> it would actually help the channel um, if we had a few more numbers, to be fair, right? Also, if you want to leave a comment, please do so. Um, I will, I will uh, ignore it as my, at my leisure if it is a hater thing and I will be very grateful if it is something nice, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, ultimately, this is a free service, right? And it's tedious when you, when you keep recording and you don't know if you actually reach anybody. Um, it's important at times to know that, 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 that your work is actually appreciated because it is work after all. And if um, people subscribe, it will it signals to me that people are paying attention and are interested in these readings okay so from from, from one pisces pisces piscean to the next please like subscribe and share see you next month bye bye